family. Hey, good morning. It is 11.35 and today is Wednesday, September 28th and we doing a What's Up Wednesday. I have not been on in a few days, so but I'm getting y'all messages on Facebook like, Auntie, what's up? What happened with the party? What happened with the taping? What's going on? What's up with you and your dude? I mean, you guys are asking me so many different questions. So, I'm going to debunk some of the myths. Uh, I'm, I'm going to um, share a few things. Not so, you know, not so much of real, real personal stuff, but good stuff. We're just going to catch up for a minute. Um, but before we get to catching up, um, Monday, y'all, I went to my favorite store in the whole wide world. I went to Goodwill, right? And, um... Monday, now at my Goodwill, I don't know if it's everywhere, but now at my Goodwill on Mondays is military days on Monday. So you you don't get no discount every every day like you used to. Now you only get discounts for military people on Monday and you get 15% off. So I had dropped Anthony off at work. Um, I had just left my baby because my baby had came down to come see me. I'm going to get into that in a minute too. But he, he was like, well, no, I need to come see you and, you know, and all this kind of stuff. So he came and stayed the night. And um, and so I had I had to take Anthony to work. Look, you see, I'm trying to get my words right. So I had to take Anthony to work um, Monday. After I dropped Anthony off from work on my way coming back home, I went by my favorite store. And y'all, check this out. I got me some Versace glasses check that out you see, uh, and, and I love the case because it has the um, I don't know if this is a chirrup I don't know exactly what this is an angel or chirrup which is somewhat the same but I don't know exactly what that is I don't know it's like a lady or something anyway but it's in, it's um, imprinted in the case and they're readers and let me tell you something. They are my identical prescription. How about that? Now, mind you now, when I first went up there, after I dropped Anthony off and I went I went up there, and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go through and go see. Because first I wanted to go by A.M.P.M. Because the A.M.P.M. by Anthony's job, their Orange Bang wasn't working. So I was like, you know what, i got to give me an Orange Bang. So I'm going to go to the Orange Bang by my Goodwill and, you know, and, and still be able to get my Orange Bang. And then I'm going to run up there and see what they had. So, when I got up there and, you know, I'm looking in the case and everything. And so, when the young lady handed them to me and I looked at them, you know, I looked at them through and through. They had a couple of little purses in there. I looked at them too, but it wasn't something that really, like, grabbed me. Like, oh, girl, you really need to have that. But these glasses, I was kind of gravitated to them a little bit. So, I, I looked at them and I was like, okay, nah, that's okay. So, after that, I left, went home, went to sleep, Okay. And the debate was on when I woke up. Because mind you, now, I have been up all fucking night long with my man. Okay? I mean, we vibed like a motherfucker. We vibed so tough Monday morning. some From Sunday night to Monday morning, I don't think we slept at all. We was just up. Just talking about all kinds of stuff. Just talking about just everything up under the sun. Just everything. And so, we didn't sleep. We stayed up all night. And so, when, after I dropped Anthony off and all that stuff, and I had came home and all that, I went to sleep. I know my Goodwill closed at 8 o'clock. So, I woke up like, I don't know, it was like maybe 7.15 or something. Some woke me up out of my sleep and said, go, bitch, go get them, you better go get them glasses. Girl, if you don't get them, go get them goddamn glasses. You know you need them. So, now mind you, I still have my Tiffany's. Love them, okay? But I was like, uh. Let me go on up here and go see if they still got them. I'll get them if they don't. Do you know my glasses were still waiting on me? Yeah. And the sister that works there now, at first me and her was really, really cool. We had a really cool exchange in the beginning. Now, she's kind of, I don't know. I mean, her, I mean, she's cool, but she's not as cool as she used to be. You know what I mean? Because mind you now, I took some of my bags, some of my older bags up there and just donated it. You know, you know, because I have been, you know, 
I've been hitting them up, getting all kind of stuff, all kind of Louis Vuitton, all kinds of shit over there. Dooney and Burks, coaches, all kinds of shit I've been getting from there, right? But to pay back and to give back, like some of, I had a really old Chanel bag, that old black and white one that I had. I took that one up there. I, um, let's see, I had some old coach bags and some old bags that I had. And, but you know, that was nice. Good quality, you know, not, not, you know, not no DD shit, but some, you know, some good shit. Man, I took that shit. Not, now, I know somebody gonna say, well, what's wrong with DD bags? No, I'm, I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying that, you know, I gave them some, you know, nice quality bags, you know, uh, of somewhat of a name, okay? Let's go with that. And so, um, so, um, and ever since that day that I came in there and I gave those, gave those bags to her, and I gave them to her and this other little supervisor, this Hispanic chick that worked there, too, she worked there a couple times out of the week, and, because I had bought a couple of bags that day, and then I had, I had already said that I was going to take those bags up there and donate them. So, I had them in the trunk of my car. So, after I had purchased the bags, the, the bags that I got, then I went back to the car, put my stuff in the car, and I came back. And I was like, you know what, guys, I want to, you know, donate these bags, you know, and, you know, to put them back in the case. You know, to refill the case back up or whatever. Well, ever since then, this bitch has been showing me stank face like a mother. I mean, she's nice. Don't misunderstand me. She's nice. But... It's like a, bitch, who you think, bitch? You know, that's the way she like, you know, kind of, I'm like, wow. What is it with the, I don't understand how, and I can't speak for any other community. I can only speak for the black community because I can't, I don't know what my Latina sisters, how, how y'all repertoire is. I don't know how Becky and them doing their thing. I don't know. But I know for black women, oh my God, you cannot be happy. You cannot be happy when you're dealing with some sisters. Because, first of all, girl, why are you grinning for them? Bitch, why are you always so happy? It ain't even that deep. Dude ain't even out this, that, and other. Girl, please. Uh, I mean, just damn. I mean, just calm the fuck down. I mean, can't a motherfucker just be happy for another motherfucker? Everybody is not miserable. Everybody is not miserable. Everybody is not struggling. Everybody ain't hooking and crooking. Everybody ain't out here lying. Everybody ain't out here fucking fronting. But it's like, when it comes down to our sisters... They feel, well, it's the crabs in the barrel. Because I know, Ayana, I know you're saying that to yourself right now. Girl, it's crabs in the barrel. And you are absolutely correct. And I know one time before, years back, and I think you had said that to me. And it's kind of stuck with me stuck with me all these years because you're absolutely correct. It's like misery loves company. And as long as you are happy, Women, some women don't like that. I mean, they hate that sight on scene. If I come on here and I'm just so overjoyed about what's going on in my life, bitch, bop, um, we don't want to hear that bullshit. Put one up in the air. Come on, this motherfucker clowning. How come you ain't on that loud? Oh, you ain't going to be on that loud no more because, oh, boy, watch your videos. Now, if you don't calm the fuck down, my baby be on just as much loud as I be on. We be on loud together. We be so motherfucking loud, baby. Let me tell you something. It is a crime in progress and room whoop that whoop. Yeah, we both be cutting the fuck up. Let, let me just go and be crystal clear on that part. So, if anybody got any, you know, thing thinking, oh, well, he ain't going, oh, he ain't going to go for all that. Oh, he ain't going to like all that cousin. He ain't going to, listen, we are two peas in the pod, and it is so good. The sex is bomb. We are just so in tune with one another. We complete each other's sentence. He says that he loves me. So what, what, what? And his actions are louder than his words. You understand? His actions is just crazy, man. Oh, my God. And it's like, I be so happy sometimes. Like, you know, I, I, I slip up and I post shit on Facebook. I screenshot our taxes sometimes. I post that shit on there. Because I'm just so happy. You know what I mean? I'm just so happy. Just allow me to relish in this moment. Everybody is not miserable. Damn. I was married for 20 years years okay i was married for 20 years me and tony now we're cool as a motherfucker low key i see you but baby let's just raise these kids let's just raise our children let's just be the best of friends 
Allow me to love you from afar and let me just enjoy what I'm feeling right now. I understand it's fucked up out here. I understand niggas be tripping. I understand people is, you know, you know, behind on their rent and trying to get a car right now. And I'm t I got to work two jobs. And, you know, my kids, my son is in and out of jail and my daughter's pregnant. I understand it's a whole bunch of shit going on. Okay? I understand that. But damn it for the life of me. Just, hey, I'm sorry. I'm not going to hide my blessings because somebody feel a witch away because I'm happy. I cannot do that. To God be the glory. He gave me this life. He gave me this place. Okay? And what a way to, you know, to honor him is to be thankful for the blessings that he has bestowed. Why in the hell is somebody mad at that? I don't understand that for the life of me. And I ain't even, hey, it, it, at this point in time, it's whatever. Bob, it's whatever. It is whatever. It doesn't matter. My kids love me. My man loves me. I don't owe no motherfucking body. I'm over here and I'm comfortable. We cool. Okay? My baby is very successful. And we good. You know what I'm saying? We good. I'm, I'm, I'm very cognizant. I'm not stupid. Every, 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 that, every decision that I make, I think it through. You understand me? I truly think it through. So ain't nothing about me dumb or juvenile. Please understand it. I wouldn't be where I'm at today if I was one of them. I'm not none of that, okay? I'm not none of that. I'm just a woman that is in love with a man that loves her. I'm, you know, I have children that are doing some really, really cool shit. You know what I mean? And it's like, damn, I'm just in a good I'm just in a good time in my life. In this life, you know, I was talking to one of my friends last night, you know, and you know, uh we were talking about, you know, relationships and all that kind of stuff. And I told him, you know, because he's in the rap game. He's an LA rapper. Okay? Now, I, you know, I know I'm probably talking too much, and I know he probably going to see this shit too. My baby going to see it, but my baby already know because I already told him, you know, baby, this is what I did, and this is what's happening on this, but this is what it is. You know what I mean? Well, anyway, so uh, L.A. rapper, well-known rapper, a lot of people know him, know who he is, all that. Anyway, he hit me up on Facebook when I had went to the party the other day. When I went to the party in my little cat suit, did I bring that motherfucker I'm going to go and go get it so y'all can see it. And I think I did find the tag too, but now that I'm talking, I don't know. But anyway, I had posted those pictures on Facebook and stuff. And, you know, people were sharing the pictures. You know, I was getting, you know, such and such shared. And, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And thank you guys. Really, I thank you so much. You know, because it took me a long time to get here. Allow me to enjoy my body. Uh, this is new to me. I'm not accustomed to this. I've never been this in my life, okay? I've never been this before. So allow a woman to be happy about it. Allow me to relish in it. I might be over the top. I might be this, this, and this. But if it was you, what would you do? Really? I mean, if it was you, what would you do? How should I be acting? I'm not out here having no pussy party. I'm not out here laying up with a whole bunch of different niggas. I'm not out here partying and, and, and girl and all that old type of shit and just... You know what I'm saying? Got a whole bunch of single friends and we out wilding out. I ain't doing any of that. None of that. When I go out, I go out with my man. I go to, like, I went to the set of, uh, of the film the other night. You know, so I'm, I, I, I do what, you know, whatever he and I is doing. I'm not out here cutting the fuck up. I ain't doing none of that kind of shit. Niggas ain't just running up in my pad and all that. I don't even talk to Kenny. Do you understand? I don't talk to Kenny. Now, last week, Matter of fact, it was last Wednesday because I was doing the videos, the Wellness Wednesdays, which I'm going to do that today. So, Kenny had called me last week and he was like, you know, I knew he that he wanted to see me because, you know, we've been making up and breaking up for years. That's just what it was, you know. But this time, he realizes that it's a little bit different than before. So, the little shit that was left here at my house, I politely went to U-Haul, uh, got a box. Everything that I found that had his name on it or anything that belonged to him, I politely folded it up all nice, put it in the box. Uh, when I taped that box up, I knew at that point in time, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, okay? 
And so last Wednesday, he had called me up and he was like, um, T, I need my CDLs because he, he got a CDL license. I saw him through all that. Studied with him. Took him down there to Montebello to go take the test. One time y'all heard me say, I went to Montebello yesterday. I went to Montebello because Kenny had to take his CDL um, test. He passed. I seen him through all that. I ain't want a dime. I don't want absolutely nothing. I wanted him. I want, I want nothing but the best for you. Okay? We've gone as far as we can go. I respect you. I respect your path. I respect what we had. It's parts of me love you dearly, but it's also parts of me had to let you go to allow something else to come into my life to fulfill me. You understand? I wish no hard will, no this and that. I don't have nothing bad to say. I don't have none of that shit because I can come on here and say a whole bunch of crazy shit. I'm not going to. Now, I hit you up and I let you know that Michael's having a party. Then you hit me up going off on me. You cuss me all out. Because you seen a video of me coming on here talking about I was overjoyed and you saw that I had went to Vegas with my man. Kenny, you was wrong for that, partner. You were so wrong for that. As much shit as you and I done been through and as much shit as you done done, you already know what you done done. So then therefore allow me to pick up the pieces and move on with my life. Who mad? I'm not mad at you, baby. I'm not mad at you at all. I done seen you get through all of this kind of shit. Helped you out. Done done more than what I should have done. But after I did all that, I said, okay, look, Kenny, check this out. Baby, we can't do this no more. I'm kind of cool on you. I didn't fuss, fight. I shed a couple of tears, yes, because I knew that the chapter was closing and something new was opening. And I knew that when you left my house that day, and I told you, it's a wrap. And when you came over here last Wednesday, I politely had your little shit all hooked up. And I told you, I said, I'm going to put it outside on the little what you call it. You know what I'm saying? By the door. You know, when let me know when you on your way. And in there for I'm going to set your stuff to the side. I didn't go outside. My dog was barking. He was knocking at the door. I didn't even entertain that. And the reason why I didn't entertain that, because I didn't want you coming on in here. Let me eat your pussy. Let me do this. Let me. No, 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 no. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I respect what I have. I respect me. I also respect him. I also respect you enough to say, you know what, check this out, partner. It's been a long ride. It was a good ride. It was a high and low ride. We done done a whole lot. We done spent a gang of motherfucking money. We done traveled. We done done all kinds of shit. Me and you together spent like over about, what, about $60,000 just doing all kinds of shit. You know what I'm saying? So we done, we done had our time. We've had our time. Now I wish nothing but the best for you. You said you got to go to Tennessee or where, wherever you said you got to go. Good luck with all that. I ain't got nothing bad to say about you, baby. I ain't got nothing bad to say. So, on that note, we're done with that. Now let's roll up into some other shit. Okay. Um, so, back on these glasses, though. So, anyway, I left the tag in the inside of there. They were $19.99. They're readers. I love them. Oh, my God. They work for me. So bomb. And shit, I can read like a motherfucker. I'm like, oh my God, I see everything. What? You said what? Yeah. I could see very, very good in these goddamn readers. Oh my God. Do you see that shit? It got the little, yeah. Oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. And this is the inside of the case. And it, man. Oh my God. Yeah, this was a damn good buy. And for them to be my identical prescription tripped me out. I'm like, wait a minute, what is this? You know what I mean? It was, it, you know, when something is meant for you, regardless of the fact, if you ain't gonna go, you ain't gonna pass it. If it's something meant for you to have, you are gonna have it. If it's somebody that's meant for you, I don't give a damn what their status is or what they got going on or, or what, what, what. Now, first of all, let me say, God ain't going to bless you with nobody else's husband. And let me just go and say that right now. He's not going to bless you with somebody else's husband, somebody else's wife, okay? But, you know, on certain situations, certain things, you know what I'm saying, you know, it, it, it's some, it, hey, you know, I done been there and done that on all kinds of things in my life. And I'm not, I'm unashamed. I wouldn't be the woman that I am today if I didn't go through the things that I have gone through. Let me just go and say that and be clear. 
But uh, anyway, so um, what else happened? Um, let's go back. Shanita Brown, she had her birthday. And then another Shanita came in and said, my birthday on the 28th. So happy birthday, mama. Your birthday is today. Happy birthday, Nugget. So, and then um, I went to the tape and the taping was bomb. Um, it was so, I was so tired. Oh my God, I was tired because I had a long ass day. I had a lot going on. It was crazy. This was what, Friday night? Yeah, this was Friday night. Anthony had a three day weekend so me and baby could just go and just go. You know what I mean? Now we just go. I don't have to come on here and post everything because sometimes I, you know what I'm saying? And just we we just in the moment, shit. We just fucking let's just go. 